Hello there and welcome to the card grotto. Today I've got my monthly haul to share with you. These are items that I bought in the month of March, although actually um, quite a few of them I actually bought at the end of February. Um, I filmed my February haul video quite early because um, I had um, university work and things like that. So there were actually a few things that I ordered in um, February. Um, so I'm just going to show you those first and then I'll get on to the things that I bought in March. So first of all, um, I got two of the um, cover a card um, stamps. These are the background stamps from uh, oops, Impression Obsession. Sorry, um, I got the. This is the thin stripes, and then I got the um, small dots as well. Um, I've seen Jennifer Maguire use them, and if you've seen my last haul video, um, I got one of the other ones from Simon's Stamp. Um, I haven't actually used them yet. Um, but I am looking forward to using those. Then another thing I got in February, it was um, an order from Dies to Die For. So first of all I got the um, stencil. This is the fishnet stencil. I have used it already with some embossing paste. Uh, this is the, um, if I didn't say, by MFT. Um, it's really pretty. I really like their stencils actually. They're really quite sturdy and um, yeah, they're really nice. So I got that one. And then I also got the um, Everyday Moments stamp set from Whimsy Stamps. Um, this is designed by Simone Clay and um, just some really lovely, lovely sentiments there. And then I also got some of the um, My Mind's Eye enamel dots. These are the sweetest thing. Lavender Reasons Why. They're always a strange name, <laughs> um, but I really like I like them. There's two shades of sort of a an aqua and like a darker green, and then um, two shades of pink as well. So they're really pretty. And then I ordered directly from W Plus um, Nine. At the time, there was nowhere in the UK that had this stamp set. Um, although, actually, to be honest with you, I probably could have held out. Um, and maybe got it a bit later because I haven't actually used it yet um, but I did order direct from W plus 9 their, sh their customer service and their shipping is absolutely amazing um, shipping is really very reasonable from the US to the UK the only thing is obviously I got stuck in customs so I did have to pay the customs fees um, but that's un you know that happens when you order from the US so um, the first um, set, well I actually only ordered one stamp set and one die set this is the um, folk art florals. I really like. I really like it. It's got lots of lovely. Um, it's not one of the kind of newer sets or anything. This is a little bit older. And um, it's got lovely um, flowers and little bird house and little birds. And I just thought it was really nice. And then the die set doesn't actually match it as such um, in terms of size. And um, these images are a lot bigger. Um, but I've seen a card on Pinterest using them. I just thought it was so so cute. So I got this one as well. This is the folk art floral dies. And um, so you've got the little birds. You've got a bird house, and then you've got some leaves here as well. I just thought they were really nice. So then on to the things that I actually bought in March. Um, so first of all I made an order with Crafty Charlie and if you follow my Facebook page you'll, you will have seen these. I got two of the um, the new lawn form paper pads. So this is the Hello Sunshine. It's just really really pretty. Um, I'm sure you've probably seen it all by now. Um, but just really really lovely um, papers in here. Uh, they're all really thick papers as well and they're just, I love the colours. Um, and the patterns that Lawn Fawn have uh, just just really really pretty I don't know if you can see that on camera um, just really really nice and I really like that they do like these kind of patterns as well because that's kind of like what I like the most so you get two of each of those and then the other one is Let's Polka um, I love this <laughs> um, so you've got small polka dots you've got large polka dots you've got stripes and then you've got little tiny hearts um, that are a bit like polka dots and then you've got them all in the different colours uh, which again really really cute um, so like that one I love that, that's so cute with the little hearts yeah so just really nice I really like that pad 
and then I did get the um, Scripty Hello Die and I have used this on a card that's, that's on my blog now um, just again I really like it and I love the, the, um, the Scripty kind of font as well just really pretty and then I got the um, Hello Sunshine set as well I just thought it was really cute with these little birds um, and then you've got the cloud and the sun and some balloons as well so that was from Crafty Charlie and then from Craft Mojo, I got some um, of the Doodlebug mini jewels. I did actually get two of each colour, but um, I'm just showing you the, obviously the one. Um, they, the mini jewels, Doodlebug mini jewels, for some reason, I'm not quite sure what it is, um, they just don't seem to sell them anymore. Um, but I, I absolutely love them. Um, not just because they're Doodlebug, but just they're, you know, they're really well made and obviously I love the colours and I much prefer the smaller ones than the, the kind of like the new larger ones so I got um, I got what sh what Sally had in so I got the blue jean, the cupcake, the bubble gum and the swimming pool and then next I ordered from Craft Obsessions I ordered the, um, the new um, Tim Holtz um, mini blending tool um, although I think it's technically Ranger, but you know it's it's Tim Holtz really. <laughs> um, so I got the um, the mini one, and then I got some extra foams as well. I'm hoping that I will prefer this one better than the rectangular one. Um, occasionally, I used to get kind of like lines from where the rectangle foam was. Um, I know that has been a problem with you know for quite a few different people. And Jennifer McGuire recently did a. Um, um, a review just a couple of days ago actually um, and she said it's good so I'm glad because <laughs> I'd already bought them so um, yeah really happy with those and then also from Craft Obsessions I bought the new um, well it's not new now it's really quite old now I suppose um, but the seasonal distress markers and uh, the Tim Holtz distress markers um, this is the set of 12 now if you've followed me for a little while you'll know that I wasn't quite sure about them I wasn't sure whether I was going to get um, distress markers I was leaning more towards the stamping um, stamping up markers but my um, one of my friends actually had um, you know like one of the large sets like the original set um, and she was selling them really quite reasonably and um, she sold me a set so I'm really happy um, so I, obviously I got it for a good deal and I kind of thought if in a year's time I decided that I did really want them and I had to pay full price for them I wouldn't have been very happy when I could have got them um, a lot cheaper so I went ahead and um, bought them from her so thank you very much and um, so I got the, the seasonal set as well because I really do like a lot of the colours in the seasonal one and then last but not least, I made a small order from Simon Says Stamp. Um, recently I've been kind of adding um, the Simon Says Stamp haul separately uh, because, mainly because I usually buy quite a bit from them, but I didn't actually buy that much at all. There was just one thing that I really wanted and I didn't want to spend sort of £14 shipping just on one item. So I did get a couple of little bits. So I've got a couple more of the Avery L um, stamp and die pockets. I got a couple more of the, um, these are the Scrapbook Adhesives um, foam pads. I got the smaller version and the sort of regular version. And then the two things that I really did want, um, the first thing is the Mum die. Um, most of the things in America have mom or however you pronounce it actually, M-O-M. -M. Um, I don't know people in the UK do um, have that as their term as well. Um, I personally have always used mum with a U, um, so I was really excited that they had this die. It's um, really quite tiny, really really cute. The actual cutting out is really quite intricate. Um, I have used it on the envelope for my Mother's Day card um, this year and it's just it's so pretty and I really like that and I think I will use that quite a lot. So that's that die. And then the main reason that I actually wanted to um, make the order was this stamp set here. This is the Swatches stamp set. Um, if you've seen Jennifer Maguire's videos, which I'm sure you have, um, she's recently changed up her uh, swatch system. 
and she has it in a book now now I've I don't really want it in a book because I just don't think that will work for me but I've always used um, these kind of swatches here um, so like the same kind of size but just in a ring instead of um, in a book and I've u always used this stamp from Paper Tray Ink but actually I really like the um, rectangular stamp uh, just because I think it looks a lot neater and I'm going to see if I can print out her um, PDFs and um, use you know like the same kind of thing and just change it to rectangular um, just because I think it will look neater and you know that I'm all about <laughs> neat and tidy so um, I'm looking forward to um, using that and that was my haul for the month of March um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon